my clock and my notes click on Woodit Smith. Anyway, this will save your life. They're adorable. Go download this app, guys. Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. It's Rada and in today's video, I'll be doing a what on my iPhone video thing. It's really fun to watch, especially if you want to spice your phone up. Nowadays, we are always, always on a phone. So we tend to get, I mean, at least I get sick of my phone really quickly. So I'm always looking for inspiration. I will be telling you guys how I customize my phone and organize all my applications. Also my favorite productivity apps and apps that I use every day. I will be giving a quick tutorial on how I use Widget Smith to customize my phone and add in my personal touches. So if you guys are interested or if you guys want to give your phone a revamp, then this video is for you. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay guys, just have a look at this gorgeous, gorgeous coffee. Anyway, so I currently have an iPhone XR. I have the 128 gigs, I believe. Yeah, for me, 128 is a very good size. If I were to buy a new phone right now, I'd probably get the 256 one because I have a problem and I cannot delete any of my photos. And nowadays I record on my phone as well. So I really need all the storage that I can get. Anyway, let me take the case out for you guys. Okay, so I have it in white. This is what it looks like. I always get my phone in white. I just think it looks very classic and it just goes with everything whether you want a clear case or a colorful case i have this case from casetify yep, this is what it looks like this is very old so it's not working anymore usually the sand would come down but yeah I, I should probably get a new one soon this is a protective case i have dropped my phone so many times and it's still intact so thank you to the case without the case i'm sure i would not be having this phone right now okay so if we start with my lock screen i basically have this photo i took this recently when i was on my trip to this island in thailand and i just really like it it reminds me of the trip and it makes me really happy so i have that once you slide through at my home screen my first page i have this medium widget in the middle with just this quote i just really like it it's a very nice reminder for me and on the right hand corner i have this clock it says small widget next to that i have mail calendar clock and my notes so i keep this up there because i think i tend to use these the most below that i have photos camera utilities so this is the folder where i keep the apps that i don't use as often i just keep them in this wallet not wallet i keep them in this folder and then next to that i have calculator app store reminders and some extras so in this folder i have my voice memos find my iphone app so i use this a lot with my family Next to that, I have this one password application. I would definitely recommend it's a subscription based application, I think. My dad got it for all of us. I think it's every good app. Basically, an app that stores all your password in one. You just have to remember one master password and then you're all set. It's a very good app to have. Below that, I have my Invisalign application that my dentist told me to get because I am currently wearing my Invisalign and I just have to get on top of that. Next to that, I have Who's Call which is the app that keeps track of all the spam calls. Then I have Widget Smith, which is the application that I use to create all my widgets and customize my phone. I will show you guys really quickly how I do that. Okay, so on the application, you have three options. You can either create a small, medium, or large widget. I mostly gravitate towards small or medium widgets because I think that just for my personal taste, as you can see here, I have quite a few widgets lined up. I get bored really easily. So when I scroll through Pinterest for inspiration and like quotes and pictures, I like to save quite a few so I can switch them around often. Yes, yeah, so basically how you do that is, okay, if we come out and you have to download the Widget Smith app. Once you do that, you go all the way to the left hand side to the library, you go all the way down, you click the edit option, and then you'll see this plus sign in the bottom left corner, you click on that. And then basically you, see you have option of putting all these widgets on, but what we can do if we want to add pictures and quotes and stuff like that, you can scroll all the way down and you just click on 
on widget smith and then you basically pick whether you want a small medium or large widget okay so let's say i want a small widget i click add and then this is the picture i can just use this and put it on my home page anywhere and i can always switch the pictures around okay so now let's move on next to the extras i have a folder where i keep the weather application and this air visual application it tells me the pollution level in the air where i live the pollution can get very bad at times so i like to know how it is that day and whether i should be roaming around outside if you look at the dock i have phone safari messages and the settings as you can tell i haven't done anything to this because i'm a creature of habit and i just like these four applications to be where they are because that's just how i'm used to seeing them yeah i know some people they like to keep their most used apps in the dock but what i do is okay let's move on to the second page i basically keep all my most used apps as a separate app so i don't keep them in any separate folder so i can easily access them and for me it's just easier that way on my second page i have a medium widget at the top that's where i just keep the date and the month i like it to be in the calendar format because it just helped me kind of see what day of the month it is nowadays because of covid I can barely keep track of time below that i have these two small widgets of this matcha latte i love matcha so below that i have this quote i really like it i'm always overthinking so it's just a very good reminder and then i have my youtube app i use that a lot whether i'm creating stuff or i'm just browsing through and just binging through youtube next to that i have all my social media so i keep all of them in one place i have messenger snapchat so if I open this up, hi guys. <laughs> Anyways, I used to use Snapchat a lot when I was in high school, but nowadays I don't really use that anymore. And next to that, I have Facebook, Pinterest. Oh my god, where do I even start? I get all my inspiration from Pinterest. Okay, let me let's show you guys. I have a few boards. So if you guys want to go stalk me a little, feel free. I have one for outfits nails room inspo i also have this one folder where i keep puppy photos they're just so cute they make me so happy and if you can see i have a lot of french bulldog and bulldog puppy pictures here because they are my favorite breed and i can write an essay about them because i just love them so much they're adorable i have my room inspo board and i also have some board for quotes crochet and when i used to do jewelry so i have some boards for that i just love pinterest i can be there for for hours and hours like the other day i went on right because i wanted to find some inspiration i was like yeah it would be quick i just want to find one or two photos but i end up being there for hours and i end up sleeping really late it's a trap i'm telling you pinterest once you click on it you'll be there for the next hour or so guaranteed in the middle i have instagram that's the app i use the most this is my profile if you want to go follow me i don't have that many photos right now because i archived most of it but yeah i'll try to post more then i have whatsapp line discord and then facetime and then I have bitmoji on the next page i don't really use that but i still have it and then below that i have telegram and outlook telegram that's basically a more secure application to send messages i believe i use this mostly with my family it's just better security in general then i have outlook which is the email application that i use for my high school and my college as well if you can see inside my productivity folder i have this ad app i don't know if it's ad or at but it's basically this countdown app it's very nice it's, i really like how cute it is it counts out any deadlines or any countdowns you have and then i have run keeper a pass live some garmin connect and strava so these are the apps that i use to track my fitness and my workout i have a garmin watch so that's where i log in all my activities then i have tabata that's a very good timer app if you want to do circuit workouts and i have sweated and daily bean i'm really new to this application but basically tracks your mood what you do keeping track of your day so then i think it'd be really nice to look back on your month and see how you're feeling whether you can do anything to kind of change that yeah that's that for productivity after that i have google maps i use that a lot as well when i'm home this folder i just put a ramen emoji there basically an app that i order food 
food, food delivery applications, and I have my Starbucks application there. Next to that, I have my entertainment folder. I have Spotify. I'm really into this podcast lately. It's called Hello Talk by Alia. She's amazing. Her and Yoni. I, I just I've been really enjoying it. Listening to their podcast whenever I'm running or when I go on a walk. It's very relatable and all that. So I would definitely recommend Netflix. Major Cineplex. That's the app to book cinema tickets here in Thailand. Yeah, this app. I think I use this to watch some series, some Asian dramas and all. Okay, let's move on to the third page. At the top, there's also this medium widget. I just put on this flower picture. I really like it. I don't know why there's a lot of water aesthetic going on. Okay, wait guys, I'm getting thirsty. Let me have a sip. Also, are you guys an Americano person or like a latte person? For me personally, in the morning, I like to have like oat milk or almond milk lattes. But then in the afternoon, after lunch, I would always have like an iced Americano. I just enjoy both. Yeah, I just, I always, always need my second cup of coffee to function. Let's continue. Okay, so first folder, I have all my school stuff or I mean, I guess now it's yeah college stuff so i have drive I have google docs google translate authenticator canvas application it's basically an application my college uses to keep track of all classes assignments and deadlines and all that then i have my zoom application of course who doesn't have a zoom application nowadays it's just a must have right and then i have notion my favorite application that uh, just keeps my life together i definitely recommend if you're in college this will save your life for me i really need my things to be organized otherwise i'll go insane especially assignments and tasks i just have things to be laid out all the deadlines and stuff like that then this is an overview of what i have yeah for example i separate my folders into semesters so then for the third semester i have my overview readings assignments courses and classes i do the same for the first First two semesters i keep all my notes and the assignments deadlines kind of what i have to get done for that class just very clutch after that i have my gmail google sheets next page of slides dictionary and photo translate now i have my photography folder visco afterlight unum i really like this application it's where you can organize your instagram i'm just doing this for you guys as an example these are just some random pictures that i uploaded and i can just move them around if i want to use this picture i can just see where i want to post it how it will look on my feed i know this is very extra but it's very handy and then i have huji lightroom i use that a lot to edit my pictures I have photo retouch canva i really really like it it's a very good free application then i have photo grid and instax share i have an instax camera so then that's where i used to print out the polaroid pictures and then i have photo room next is my editing folder this is where i edit my videos and thumbnails i use fonto a lot to kind of add fonts to my thumbnails so this is the thumbnail that i use i can add text and add pictures and i have my youtube studio pixar CapCut, prequel sketch Book. This is for you to delete the background. I create a PNG image and then have desk cam. Now I have my finance app where I keep my finance and bank information. And yeah, that's really boring. So let's move on. Then I have my shopping folder and this is where I keep my Depop application, Urban Outfitters, Goat, and just some of my local online stores. So that's where I shop. Next I have my travel folder. I don't really use this that much, but I have my Airbnb, NordVPN, and these next two applications the applications i downloaded when i thought i was gonna go to college in denmark but guess what covid hits and i'm still here next i have my games folder i don't really play games but when i'm really bored and have nothing to do when i'm stuck in the airport and there's no wi-fi or whatnot i have these games so i have cooking fever minion rush piano tiles among us jelly jump parades fruit ninja and steve i know these games are old but as i said earlier i don't really play them i'm so bad at games gaming that okay wait i'll show you guys and i try like i'm telling you i try my best and i'm still this bad and this widget i forgot to tell you guys this widget is also really nice so go download this steve application and you can play on your library this is how it works you just jump right go download this app guys oh, oh my god i'm actually doing really well okay so maybe i need pressure to do well but yep yeah, there you go i died after that i have my news folder we all should have it even though we don't go on there just 
manifestations okay so it reminds me to kind of check on the news i know nowadays you can just go on instagram and follow their account and then you'll be updated but i just like to have these when i have time and i want to read through stuff i have that as an option there so i have cnn new york times and npr one okay so that is pretty much it for what's on my iphone i hope you guys found it somewhat useful hopefully it inspires you to go customize your phone and just get creative customizing and personalizing your phone will also let you navigate your phone more effectively and it will waste less time you know where things are you can categorize things in a way that will suit you best also decluttering your phone in general just your digital space plays a huge role on your mental health and how you're feeling at least for me i always like to organize them and declutter them anyway that is it for today's video i'll see you guys very soon bye